What's up? So somebody somebody uh, commented on one of my TikToks earlier today. One of my old as around TikToks, like the, one of the TikToks that I made when I was deciding whether I was going to get the Azeron or get the um, the uh, what, the razor <clears throat> the razor uh, keypad, right? And he said he, that he heard that the that the keys are are pain in the ass to map, and I'm like, I don't. I don't know like maybe if you the first very first time you get it and you want to get used to it or you haven't like looked it up but like like to, to know where the keys are right you, you don't have to guess like you don't have to look at this key and be like okay well this one is here and look at and look at the physical like you could just press them right you just press them so you can see what button is where so that's how i usually do it where it's like hmm, what feels good what where, where do i want my my crouch button to be right in in the beginning when i first did it it took me a while to set the buttons the very first time because like i didn't know where i wanted anything to be it, it definitely took maybe you know a, a lot like maybe a couple of hours but that was because i had never used it before i didn't know where i would want my buttons to be whether i wanted them to be in a similar spot as they always were on the keyboard or if i wanted them to be in a new spot so i was trying things out so I played a bunch of unrated games in Valorant. I played a bunch of Fortnite. I played a bunch of uh, I played some Call of Duty. I played I played a bunch of different games within the day and like the, the first two days of me having it to find what I really liked um, and where I really wanted my buttons. Right. But you're using a new controller that's not standard, right? It's not standard. It's not like a controller, like a, a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, because you can go from Xbox to PlayStation and know where buttons are, even if you don't know what the buttons are called, right? Because like usually for a game that's on a console, all the buttons are in a standard spot until you decide you move them if you want to move them. Like I don't like my jump button being on X or A for Xbox, right? Um, so I usually move it to L1 or left bumper or R1 or right bumper. You know where those buttons are just by what they're called, right? So since these buttons don't have anything that they're called, you have the map of the buttons right here in front of your face. You don't really have to worry about the numbers or how they're numbered on the thing. You don't really have to worry about that. All you gotta do to see where they are is press the buttons. That's all you gotta do, just press them. When I what I did first, right, I wanted to find out where I like where are my most important keys, right? I didn't think about this in the beginning, but like these are mostly my movement keys in any game where I'm playing like a shooter or I ha or I'm moving around with the joystick, right? I want to I want to move around. If I got to move around with the joystick, usually these are going to be my movement keys, which means like my jump, my crouch, my sprint, um walk, if that's if that's walk in the game, you know, depending on if there's a walk and a sprint, I might put walk and sprint here or I might put walk here. It, it, like, you know, just it depends, right? You have to play the games that you play find out where you would like your buttons to be so i came up with a standard right this is my default this is my my default button configuration that i have that i you know start with right so if i play a new shooter a new shooting game comes out and i want to play a, a new shooter then I, I made this so that i can use this as my like guide i already have these buttons set r is over here because that's usually your reload right you are for reload um, if it if it ever changes, like if I have it set to something different in a different game, then I can just click on it, right? Go over here and just change it, right? To X, like if I had it on X. That's how you change it. If you if you don't have anything set, this is the new the new the newer software, I guess. There there was an older software where you just click and then you would click single click or whatever. Now they, there's a couple of extra clicks. So like click single click, you hit select and then you select keyboard on the old on the old version of the, the the thing you would click single click i think and then they would have bubbles whether it's a keyboard and all the other like options here were listed as bubbles i kind of wish they would have left it that way but um that's fine like you click here single click keyboard and then whatever your keystroke is if you want your keystroke to be two things you could just press both of them um if you press more i think if you press more buttons like i guess up to three buttons you can have three buttons um, that will press down at the same time um you can clear it uh you can have a control you can have shift shift in, in a button you know you could do that but most of the time if you just want one thing you just you know press your w or whatever right and then you you click off of it now it's set 
if you want to remove the button you can you can just right click the button and the button will disappear if you want to move one button from here it's like okay well, i don't really like my my reload to be right here and i want my reload to be down here you just click and you drag it down there like it's that simple if you're like oh you know what i don't like it like that i just want it back the way it was you just click it and move it if you click it and move it on top of another button it switches those two buttons right it's pretty intuitive i don't know why anybody would think that the buttons were hard to set um so i found i found where i wanted my my stuff my main things to be so like my space is my jump all the time control by default usually in games is like your sprint right or your crouch excuse me it's usually crouch sometimes it might be sprint but if you got to change it it's very easy to change like say for instance in this game i'm playing my crouch which is usually my my control button is not is not crouch it's sprint i mean it's uh it's shift right so i can just take shift and move it here now those two buttons are switched i don't have to worry about that at all right you can also label the buttons up here so you can make this crouch right you can make that crouch you can make this jump right and then like you can have your buttons labeled so that you if you ever have to come back to them you can remember what it is right so in apex legends this is how i have my button set right this is how i have my button set here and i had to move some stuff around but like in this game crouch was c not control so i moved you know i i changed my button to c and then here it's shift this is jump in in ghost runner jump crouch sprint right and then like i have other buttons set to other things depending on what it what it is for right i could have labeled them but i don't really play ghost runner that often i played ghost runner once to try it out with the azeron um shatterline jump crouch sprint right cyberpunk cyberpunk is a little a little more uh i, I play this game there's a lot more buttons there's only one or two buttons that i'm not using um, and I also, I used to use an alternate button, like a, a, one of the buttons you hold down the button, it will change the profile to a separate profile with more buttons, uh, which is layering. And like, you can get into that. You don't really need it for most games because most games don't have that many buttons. But here I have jump, crouch, and then sprint. But see, I changed my sprint to Y and you see it says sprint and break. And here it says crouch and handbrake and here it says jump and gas right so those three buttons when you're when you're in a car it it uses gas handbrake and brake right but when you're on foot it uses jump crouch and sprint right so like you just have that set up in in game then like all the other things that i use i just went and played the game and tried to figure out okay well where do i want those keys to be and once you once you figure out where you want those keys to be it's like okay i'll put those keys there label up the keys yeah it takes a little extra time but look at the thing that you bought or the thing that you want to use it is a non-standard controller that like is not like it, it's it's not made like anything else right it's not made like anything else if you're looking into getting something like this you're probably somebody who likes to tinker with stuff right you can you can customize this thing to be exactly how you want it the only thing i regret is getting the cyborg and not the cyborg compact because the cyborg compact doesn't have these these little t uh, tail buttons on it right it has flat buttons on top of these little towers right which would would better suit me for what i normally use these buttons for i think those buttons are would be way more comfortable to press and tap when i need to tap something like if i wanted to tap for the scoreboard or something like that i usually have my scoreboard down here um let me see on a game i play on power so yeah like i usually have tab here and um that's my scoreboard but if i had a scoreboard but i will put the scoreboard button on top of one of the flat buttons right like i would just do that because i think it would be better but i can't i don't do that because if i or, or else i'd have to put it right here which is not all that great this button i do use in fortnite um i think i still use this button as my map button because i don't have to press i don't press my map button that often and there were a bunch of other buttons that had to go in different places um yeah so this button here is my map button and then here is the reason why i didn't have a map button down here um the map button i, I push i pushed up here because back here i have um a harvest tool which i omit one because one is your harvest tool 
and C makes you swap between your weapon and your harvest tool. So I just use Q instead of one. And then I use two, three, four here for those three slots, the second slot, third slot, the fourth slot. And then up here, I use five and six for your uh, fifth and sixth slot, which is usually like your recovery items or your tool item, right? That you like most of the time I put them back there. Recovery, like shields or like uh, any, any type of like grenade or something like that, usually I put on five or six. The other ones I usually have here, which is usually like three weapons. Um, that's how, that's where I keep those. So those, those will be back here, right? One, two, one, two, and three. Uh, like, so like there's, you just gotta get, uh, you gotta get a system down for how you want it. I, I think that the system that I have right here, if you want to copy, this is like a good starting point for like putting your stuff. If you don't want jump there, I, I guess I, I can understand that. I don't know. I just felt like since I use jump the most, this is where I would want to put it at something where, where it's readily available and, and and like using my pointer finger. Normally use your thumb, but if you're using your thumb, your, your thumb is on your movement now. Like your thumb is on your movement now and you want to be able to move and jump at the same time or else I would have put jump over here on the thumb, the thumb button. But I don't want to have to move my hand off of the thumb button to do something that I need to do while I'm moving. So I don't put it back here. So since my my thumb is on my movement, I need to have another finger you do jumping. So I I just put it here. It just made made sense over here. Jump, jump, jump. And then like here I have crouch and then, you know, uh, walk like in in Valorant. I use this as walk, right? You switch these back. This is not crouch. You switch this back. But yeah, in Valorant, my shift button is my walk button. And then in other games, usually shift is your sprint button. In some games, you have a walk and a sprint button like in Super People 2. So like I would have like another button down here for uh, for walking and then have this as my sprint. And then like this is like my prone button. So I have like three buttons right in a row. And I know that this is my prone, my sprint and my walk. Right. And then I have jump and then control. So they're all within like this T shape here, right here and here. So like once you get a system down for where you want things to be, then like you can you can start to uh, space. I don't know why space is here. I don't have space here. I don't know why I have space bar here, but maybe you could put space bar here. I don't, I don't know. It depends on what you want to use. I can just delete that for real, for real. This is probably supposed to be Q. I think I, I think I had this set as Q and I hit space bar or something. Like that. Maybe I don't know. Uh, anyway, so like Q and E I have right here. And this is good because Sometimes in games, you, you, you'll you use Q and E in the menu to be left. It'll be left and right, like in the menu. And so that, that way it's like, okay, it's already left and right. So I put Q and E here. If I have to move them for anything, then, you know, I can just move them. I can move them here and here. I, have, I can have them back here. But whatever the case, you know, that's where my default is. Q and E. Q and E, movement, jump, control, space, like stuff that you're going to use pretty much in every game. M, I put as my map up here. So like I usually will use this as as like scoreboard, maybe map, but like here I have map. So I think I have where do I have I have map on uh what do I have on there on Fortnite? I think this was Fortnite. This was Fortnite. Okay, seven seven I have here for um the uh what is it called? Like the little power ups you get in chapter four, that's what I put the seven there for. And I was like I need to be able to like hit that at a moment's notice just do that so maybe i could see i could put it up here but then i have to reach too far for that i don't want to reach that far but i can reach that far to tap the map real quick to see what the map is looking like and then i have escape escape i have back here because it it just kind of seems intuitive to me to like when i want to back out of a menu i press back on my d-pad the d-pad nub and you just escape if you're in something and you hit, need to hit escape, because normally you'll hit escape, you have to reach for escape, right? But now my finger is already right here. So I just, you know, move my thumb up from the movement thing and hit back because I'm not using movement while I'm in my uh, menus or whatever. I'm not using ASDW while I'm in my menus. So I just hit back on escape. And like I have win here, which is the win windows button um, in case I need to bring up windows without having to let go of my keyboard. But I might 
just nix this button because I always reach over to it anyway. It's just, I don't know. I just have the, the, the muscle memory to reach over to it. So I can put something else that's useful here. But then after that, the buttons that are the most comfortable for you to press, you put the most important buttons on those. So that's, that's pretty much how my like system goes. And then I, I you know, I, any, any game that doesn't have like where you're moving, like eternal return, this is pretty much all buttons, like all regular buttons. And then like, I don't have any like ASDW to move because I'm using the right, I'm using a mouse to move. So the joystick becomes different. The joystick becomes like a different type of button where it's like, I'm pressing this for something I'm pressing. I don't remember what Z does in eternal return. Cause I haven't played it in forever, but, <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure that when I go back to the game, I figure it out, but. But yeah, like it's just you just have to have a, a like kind of a system down. And I even use this to uh, edit videos. So this is my video editing um, setup for Resolve, right? So I have Ripple Delete, Regular Delete. I have Split Clip and Ripple Ripple Trim. Then you have Blade Arrow, Blade Tool, Arrow Tool, Snapping Tool, Linking, Linking Tool, Copy Paste. Uh, I have a save button over here. I can just hit. I have Shift Control and Alt here for when I need to hold shift or control or maybe alt for something. I have an enter button here so I don't have to reach over and hit enter and I'll put in when I copy a number from one place and put it in another place and I need to hit enter to make it do. And then I have redo and undo. So undo for is back so I can go back, back a step or forward a step for redo. Um, and then I have the in and out so that I can put, you know, click, click my playhead and hit in. I want it. I want it to be here. And then I have my, uh, click my playhead on the other side of something and then hit the out so that I can hit the out so I can, you know, and then I have my play pause, which is on the, the thumb button here. Um, and then joystick left, right to move the playhead left and right a frame or, you know, forward a frame or back a frame. So you can, you can use this thing for other things besides games. I was trying to set up one for, for Photoshop, but I just found that I've been using keyboard for Photoshop for so long that I, I don't really need to to set it up and learn it it's usually it's, it just takes me too long it's just going to take me too long to to learn how to photoshop on the azron when i already kind of like know where where the stuff is i want to use on the keyboard so i just use the keyboard for photoshop um i was early enough in video editing that it didn't take me that long to be able to use the azron and i prefer the azron now so if you are looking into getting an azron and you want to buy one be sure to use my code ion fgc uh it gives you five percent off and um uh, it just kind of lets them know that i'm like showing people their product i literally asked them for it because i have my the azron in so much of my content that i was like i don't want to necessarily do it for free but like i want to have you know them to have some type of um idea that like oh you know i really do like you guys uh you, your, your product and I want to push it, but I want you guys to know that I'm pushing it. I, I want them to know that I'm doing something, for them, not just doing it for, for, you know, for free. Cause in the future, you never know. I might have an opportunity to, to actually get paid for it. So yeah, I mean, being fully transparent, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really use anything this much. Like I, I if you look at all my stuff, it's in everything. And if it makes sense to use it for a game, I use it. Um, I think the only is there any games that I don't use this for? I don't think there's any game. Oh, the only games I don't use this for are like fighting games and like racing games. Like I don't you, I drive around in cyberpunk with it, but like you get in and out of the car. It's not the only thing you do in cyberpunk In racing games. I just use a regular pad and in fighting games. It depends whether I'm using a pad or an arcade stick, but everything else pretty much so far. Um, I use the Azeron, even new world lost ark um the cycle you know uh what else whatever else do i have here i have I set up a pso2 thing i set up uh a ghost runner super people uh, super people is one of the ones that i have a double i have a double profile i have two profiles for super people but the one has a profile button that switches to this other one so if i go here and i press down this button um it switches to the other profile. I don't know why it does it like that. Usually it's supposed that when I hold it down, it switches to this profile. When I let it go, it switches back. It usually, let me see. Uh, 
toggle on hold apply oh here we go so now yeah when i hold this button it it brings it to this profile and then i can press the other button that i need and then when i let it go it goes back to the other profile that's how i set up two with layering so if you go over to the, the layering thing single click layering you you choose layering and then you go to super you know super people too what do you which profile do you want it to switch to then hit toggle on hold i don't know what belkin no sotro mode 52 mode is um i'll have to look that up um but it says set super people to button five on the switch back into the current profile so i guess you don't really have to do that well i mean i guess you do you might have to do that I, i'm not sure let's let's try it and see what happens uh apply so well, now okay well delete the button right if i delete the button and i press this button and then i and then i release the button it doesn't go back so you do you do need the profile button to be there on on the second so now did i mess it up let me see let's go here profile this apply okay now the button is back so now okay now it's working again so you do need the profile button to be on the other thing so that when you're holding it it knows you're holding it and you release it it knows you released it to go back to the other profile if you have any questions about the azeron feel free to message me in the comments you know i'll answer any questions you have about it if you're if you're looking to get one or you have any questions about how i handle certain things in certain games or you know it's different stuff like that all right peace